Aftermath of Russian Mercenary Chief's Armed Rebellion The latest on the aftermath of the armed rebellion declared by Russian mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigazin. There was little sign in Moscow on Sunday of the counterterrorism alert that was introduced after Yevgeny Prigazin launched his revolt and nominally remained in place. Crowds swarmed the downtown area of the Russian capital on a sunny day and street cafes were packed with customers. Traffic had returned to normal and roadblocks and checkpoints were removed. The counter-terrorist regime that authorates declared in Moscow and its surroundings allowed restrictions on freedoms and enhanced security. Anchors on state-controlled television stations cast the deal ending the crisis as a show of President Vladimir Putin's wisdom and aired footage of the Wagner Group's troops retreating from Rostov-on-Don in southern Russia. People in Rostov-on-Don who were interviewed by Channel 1 television hailed Putin for defusing the crisis. Russian mercenary leaders' exile ends revolt but leaves questions about Putin's power. The mercenary chief who urged an uprising against Russia's generals has long ties to Putin. There are still no reports of mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigazin arriving in Belarus after he reached a deal with the Kremlin to go into exile and ended his rebellion. Many other questions remained unanswered on Sunday morning, including whether Prigazin would be joined in exile by any of his Wagner Group's troops and what role, if any, he might have there. Prigazin, who sent out a series of audio and video updates during his revolt, has gone silent since the Kremlin announced that the deal had been brokered for him to end his march toward Moscow and leave Russia. The U.S.-based think tank Institute for the Study of War says the Kremlin faces a deeply unstable equilibrium after the deal to end the rebellion by Yevgeny Prigazin's Wagner Group. The Institute said that the optics of Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko having played a role in halting a military advance on Moscow were humiliating to Russian President Vladimir Putin. It said that the Lukashenko-negotiated deal is a short-term fix, not a long-term solution, and Prigazin's rebellion exposed severe weaknesses in the Kremlin and the Russian Defense Ministry. The Kremlin's apparent surprise at Prigazin's rebellion also doesn't reflect well on the FSB, Russia's domestic intelligence service, it added. The ISW noted that Prigazin consistently escalated his rhetoric against the Russian Defense Ministry before starting his revolt and Putin failed to mitigate this risk.